In order to use sine, cosine, and tangent to solve for any unknown side of a triangle, we first need to remember what sine, cosine, and tangent represent. So each of these are functions, and they all represent a ratio of side lengths in a right triangle. And we use the mnemonic SOHCAHTOA to remember which ratio belongs with which function. So the sine function represents the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. The cosine function represents the adjacent leg to the hypotenuse. And the tangent function represents the opposite leg to the adjacent leg. So if you remember SOHCAHTOA, it's easy to remember the ratios. Now, how do we know which one's opposite adjacent and the hypotenuse? Well, first we need an angle, and as you can see here, the side opposite the angle is what we call the opposite. The leg adjacent to the angle is called the adjacent leg. And then, since there's only one right angle, we only have to use the word hypotenuse to represent the side across from the right angle. Now that we know what these functions represent, let's go ahead and solve a problem. So here we have a right triangle, which we always need to have to use sine, cosine, and tangent. And we're trying to solve for x. Now which function do we use? If you look at this angle, the side opposite it is here. The adjacent leg is x. And the hypotenuse is always the side opposite the right angle. So which function uses adjacent and hypotenuse? Well, that's the K in SOHCAHTOA, so here we're going to use cosine. And the cosine of the angle equals the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. So if we set up this ratio, we can plug in what we have in the diagram, which is x over 10. And then in order to figure out what should the ratio be, what should x over 10 be? And you can go to your calculator and type in cos 28, and you get 0.88294.7529. Here we're going to round this to four decimal places, and we're going to replace cos 28 with that representation. And then we're going to solve for x. And in order to solve for x here, we multiply both sides by 10. Then we need our calculator again, or you can probably anticipate what the answer is going to be. But 10 times 0 0.8829 is 8.829. Now, how many decimal places should you carry? We'll, we'll talk about that later. What's more important to talk about now is once you start rounding and using your calculator, you need to use a different sign than the equal sign. You need to use this double squiggly sign, which stands for approximately equal to. Because once you start rounding your ratio of values, you no longer have an exact answer. So here we needed to change our equal signs to approximately equal just to be thorough with our representation. Now sometimes you may want to wait until later to use the approximately equal sign. You want to keep your solution as exact as possible for as long as possible. So let's set up the same problem again. And instead of replacing cos 28 with the approximation, we're going to multiply both sides by 10 first. And for as long as we carry that expression, cosine of 28, we can keep the equal sign. But once we punch it into our calculator, and here we're going to punch in 10 times cos 28, and we round our answer, and here we're going to round to one decimal place, or actually we're going to round to three and eventually round to one. Once you start rounding, you must replace your equal sign with an approximately equals. Now let's try a second problem. And this time we're just going to complete it quickly. We're going to do what we did in the second method, which is carry the cosine, tangent, and sine expression as long as possible. And then once we plug it into our calculator and round, we're going to replace it with an approximately equal to. Here we're finding x and we have the angle 60. 
We have the opposite leg and the adjacent leg, which is the ta in Sokotoa. So we're going to use tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. We're going to set up our equation. We're going to solve for x by multiplying both sides by 5. And then we're going to punch in everything into our calculator, which is 5 times the tangent of 60 degrees. And here we're going to round to one decimal place in the end. We're going to get x approximately equals 8.7.